Lee, what a fantastic start to the season uh, for yourself. A couple of clean sheets and um, just in, in general, you know, a really good start for the club this season. Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been the start we've all wanted and um, it's given us a base to go off. Um, but it's a long, hard season. I think it's we're just getting going. I think we need to keep our head down, keep on working hard and like you, you don't win nothing for until until May. So I, th I think for now we just need to keep our heads down and fair enough, we've won three games, we got off to the perfect start, but we, we won nothing yet. Has the whole atmosphere around the place just changed since last season? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think it changed in pre-season. It was just, I don't know, the boys just, I don't know, it was just something that just clicked. I, I kept saying it last year, I said it'll just click, it'll just click. And then in pre-season, it just clicked. And it, all of a sudden it was like, I don't know, we just seemed together and we were willing to fight for each other and just sort of something we were missing from last season. And, but we've definitely got it this year, yeah. It's really interesting, that can be quite hard sometimes when there's such a big turnover of players, you know, players going out and then a lot of players coming in and that has happened this summer and you never quite know how that's going to pan out but it, it seems to have worked really well. Yeah, that's what I mean, I can't put my finger on it. Um, I, could, I couldn't really tell you what it, what it is but I also know that it's here now and I, I know all the boys are fighting this competition for places and I don't know, it's just, it's just totally different there. Yeah. What, what, what difference has it made that, that the, the, the way um, Paul Tisdale plays football is quite fluid, so he can change it from a four to a three at the back at any given moment in time. And for a goalkeeper, obviously, you have to adapt as well to that and know who's in front of you. Has that made any difference at all, you know, the way that it can be quite fluid during any game? Um, no, not really. I think whoever's played in front of me in the three games have been, has been different class. I think I've only had, had to make one dab and say, you think, in three games, mm. which, is, uh, which is totally different from last year, to be honest. Um, but you know we've been solid and and no it it, it, is, it is it is fluid and um, I, but we are as a group we are together and uh, I just think it's it it just makes us a, such a better team. And we're we're getting to see we'll talk about Jordan in a moment but we're getting to see Joe Walsh this season which you know and he's put in some fabulous performances. We I think we all knew what Joe was capable of if he could have a run in the game. What's it like having him out there in front of you? He's like a new signing here. Like yeah. since he got injured, he's he's come back and he, he has he literally has been like a new signing in in. in him and Gilby, both of them come in and been different class. And, and Jordan Montaigne, of course, is coming from Exeter with, with with Paul as well, and, and shown a real solidity and leadership in that back. Yeah, I think he, I think he's taken upon himself to sort of be the leader of, of the defence, and 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 to be honest, I've I'm over the moon with him. He's he's been solid. He's 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 a big communicator, which I which I really like and. He just hates conceding goals, which is which is which is exactly like me, and and I couldn't ask for more from anyone playing in front of me. You, you're absolutely right. Of course, it's been a brilliant start. Three games, three wins. Um, you know, two clean sheets, just one goal conceded. The bars around the place in the dressing room is probably great, as you've said, and around the stadium is great as well. But it is early days, isn't yeah. it? But you guys, you guys, it's obviously something you'll talk about to a certain extent. It's a good start, but you don't want to talk about it too much, do you? You just want to get on with the job. Yeah, like, I, I personally, I think last year, I think we we looked ahead too far. I think now we've got, we've just got to take it game by game. We've just got to pick up as many points as we can in each game and just keep winning and keep building momentum. And before we know where we're, and then we're, you never know what what's going to happen. But we just need to keep our heads down and just keep taking it game by game. And it, it appears certainly from the outside, and you can tell us um, one way or the other. It certainly appears that Paul Tisdale has had a. A, you know, a, a transforming influence on everything that's happened here, but also quite a calming influence on you as players and the club. It's almost like, right, look, I've got everything's under control. I've got this. Yeah, he's brought a, um, a calmness to the club, hundred percent. He's he's come in and and he's just made everyone relax. And it doesn't. It's just enjoying football again. It's but everyone's like we know what we're all doing. We're in the right places and stuff. So yeah, I, I agree. He has brought a calmness and and long way to continue. Yeah. You say you haven't had, well, you've had to make one diving save. Is that good for a goalkeeper, or do you find yourself getting a little bit bored? No, it's, no, it's good. It's very good. Uh, like, uh, it, it's nice now and again to come off and know you've made a couple of good saves, but I'd rather come off and make no saves at all than have a clean sheet.